Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well and having a really great day in this video. You guys may have just saw the unboxing video I did for the Bitmain Antminer E9. And this thing is a powerhouse, right? It does 2400 mega hash at about 1920 watts. So if you're comparing this to a bunch of GPUs, this is obviously more efficient than graphics cards and particularly like 3070s or maybe 3090s. And so in this video, I just want to explain to you all that I recently turned off my RTX 3090s. Uh, there was a rig of six in this X12 Ultra and then I have another, I think two or three in this X8 Ultra. So it's off right now. And I, I wanna explain a bunch of different things regarding these GPUs and just simply more reasons of why I turn them off, okay? So before I begin this video, sponsored by nerdgears.com. If you guys are looking for GPUs, 30M, 240 volt PDUs, other crypto mining hardware, they have a lot in stock here. If we look at their GPUs right now, it looks like they have Phantom Gaming 5700s. They have the A2000, looks like they have some 3060 Ti's, A4000s, and the notorious Asus RTX 3080 Tough. This is the non LHR 3080, 10 gigabyte model. They accept crypto for payment as well as PayPal. Check it out, guys. Link down below. Okay, so I recently had a scare just like 30 minutes ago. The whole house, the whole power just turned off. And so all my mining rigs, even here in the basement and in the barn, just turned off. So the first thing I thought of was, oh no, my Radeon 7s. They're probably code 43 now because the power came on after about three minutes. So I thought maybe, I don't know, the breaker on the main circuit panel, right? If, I, if we go into the, into the circuit panel here, uh, let's just turn on the light. Okay, in here, I thought the main 200 amp went off, but it didn't, okay? Everything was still fine, nothing tripped or anything. It's just the power at the, I guess the hydro at the power lines went off, went out, okay? And so I thought it was something initially with here, but it wasn't. And so everything turned off and even my E9 that I was gonna do a video on the 24 hour profitability, like actual 24 hour profitability. I was mining to a specific uh, Ethereum address right here, you guys can see, and uh, it was almost at like 24 hours. I think I was at like 18 or 19 or 20 hours. So I needed four more hours to get a full day. And this Antminer E9, which it just came back, it just came back on 38 minutes ago because the power went out 38 minutes ago, is, yeah, it's, it's back on now, but it kind of ruined my 24 hour profitability. You can see the big dip here in terms of the, uh, the, the, obviously the power went out here. So I was like, man, but I'd have to say another four more hours, if we're at 0 0.031 Ethereum mines thus far, is that we were pretty close in terms of the uh, the what to mine numbers here in terms of how many re how much rewards we would get every 24 hours, so that would be about 0 0.0358. So I'm gonna have to say that this E9, if I wait another four more hours, it would probably get 0 0.3534 in the past 24 hours. So I have to say that this E9 is pretty true to what it was you know in terms of the hash rate it looks like the real time right now is pretty low but the average here says 24 uh, 22 mega hash okay so i just wanted to update you all on this but besides the point okay besides the point my at minor e9 does take about 1930 watts 1920 watts at 2400 mega hash which is extremely efficient plus all of my iPolo machines and the Loyal Tech, which is, you know, these are very efficient compared to GPUs, right? So my 3090s that I, I just turned off, I did remember the, uh, like the power consumption and the hash rate. So the X12 Ultra with the 63090s was doing about 720 mega hash at about 2100 watts, okay? So each of the 3090s was about 300 and what 330 you know a bit watts including all the fans and the octo miner so the whole rig was about 2100 watts so if we compare that to my e9 that i just turned on that does about 2400 mega ash at about 1920 watts so you can see the efficiency there is above and beyond this 3090 rig and also my other uh, a bit of 3090 rig right here with the 3080 I believe and some other GPUs. I turned that off because the power capacity in my house here that I am mining in the basement and the barn, okay, I have in total six 30 amp 
240 volt outlets, okay? Six by 240 volt, 30 amps. And so right now, I think I'm utilizing about 120 amps in this house right now. And I initially thought the power outage was due to, I'm, I'm just using so much power here. But I think 120 amps, it didn't trip the breaker, okay? It was just, I just want to take note of that. It was the, uh, just the power lines or power outside, it just turned off. But anyways, 120 amps concurrent usage right now on my 200 amps uh, service in here is that I'm not at the max in terms of the, I guess, 80% rule. So I think the 80% rule of 200 amps would be what? Would be about, I think, 160. So I do have a little bit of headroom there. So I believe I have about a 40 amp headroom for the rest of the house, right? You know, washer, dryer, oven, whatnot, that it could be utilized in the house. So that is basically the reason why I have turned off these two rigs, okay, the 3090s, yeah, the, the two 3090 rigs are off just because of that reason. And so that is why I'm in favor of uh, keeping the E9 on and mainly I'm doing tests on it right now. So that's, that's really another big reason there. But also these Loyaltech and Ipolo miners, they take about, I think a thousand, uh, no, I think 14, 1500 watts. And the other Okta miner there was taking about another, I think about another 1200 watts or so. So honestly, if I kept both of those rigs on, it would just simply utilize more power at the service, which I, I don't want to, right? I just don't want to go above the capacity just in case. I know some of you guys may say, Red Panda, 200 amps is probably fine. You can keep going up. You know what? I don't want to risk it <laughs> with that power outage I just had here. I don't know if that was because of all my rigs running, but like I said, the breaker, the circuit panel didn't go off and the other breakers didn't trip, okay? All the breakers essentially didn't trip. But there is another reason why I'm also turning off the 3090s is because I want to do a test here. So with the 63090s that I have, they are all EVGA for the Win 3s. And also I have six 3070Ti's, okay, these ones right here that I am wanting to take those six and those 63090s and put them in a Mystic Miner. Okay, this is the Mystic Miner V3. And I wanna do a, like an airflow temperature test using the same environmental variables. Like I wanna put them in the same place, like I don't know, on the floor here, and do a test against a Okta Miner X12 or a specifically a Miner Dude X12 Extreme here. Okay, so it's basically the same thing as Octa Miner X12. So I want to do a video comparing these two to see what the temps are on the GPUs and just see if we're going to have any thermal throttling and just see which case is essentially better with the same environmental factors in the same place, uh, whatever. You guys can let me know. And then I want to do another test against a bunch of the eight GPU server cases, okay? So I have a Polo Miner here, which is a eight GPU server case. I have a Mining Cave eight GPU server case and also a Octo Miner, sorry, Miner Dude, basically an Octo Miner X8 Ultra Plus. Uh, this is a Miner Dude X8 Extreme that I wanna compare these three server cases and simply see what the thermals will be, you know, the airflow, the, you know, see if the 3090s are gonna thermal throttle. I do have another two 3090s in that other Octomine I just turned off. So I can take eight 3090s and put them in each of these, uh, each of these cases to do that test. So we can theoretically see which server case may be the best, okay, with the same environmental factors uh, same ambient temperatures, same GPUs. You know, I want to do that test to see what the difference could be. I'm not quite sure, but this is very similar to the, I think the Mine Shop or like Alibaba or AliExpress, you know, type of server case. And then the Polo Miner, it, it may be the similar to an AliExpress one as well, Alibaba, whatever. And then we got the Octa Miner one, which is their own proprietary motherboard, uh, case, everything. They, they made everything their own. But these two, I would say Polo Miner and the Mining Cave one are more popular ones that you can see on Amazon or Alibaba. So I just want to do that test to see if these or the Octa Miner or Miner Dude is potentially better or not. Okay, so that's a test. I will do very soon, now that I have the 3090s off, I'll take them out and I'll do those tests I just mentioned. So you guys can let me know uh, if there's other variables that I can you know, kick out and make sure that when I do this test, I wanna have the GPUs in the same, you know, the same slots 
on each of these three server cases and uh, the same spot that I put it in. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just put it in where the, my other Octaminers are just so I can have like a real world test and just simply compare the results of the temperatures, the hash rates, the thermal throttling, all that stuff to ultimately see which one's the best case. Okay guys, I think that's it. That's really all I want to explain in this video. This E9 is pumping out a lot of heat. It is extremely loud. I can actually hear it upstairs, which is really bad. And so uh, you guys know I have my new mining location, so I'm hoping that uh, in, a, in less than a month I can move there and uh, move this E9 over to my new house where I'll be living and I can essentially manage this and I don't know, maybe enclose it or something. I don't know, maybe do some immersion cooling. I don't know. I have a lot of ideas that I want to do that I could essentially you know take out these delta fans and you know make it a lot quieter some form or fashion uh, where I saw the hobbyist miner he took out these fans and he, he put an inline fan instead but ultimately it, it, it caught on fire I don't know why <laughs> hobbyist miner if you're watching this man that was uh, that was a pretty uh, daring move but that's something that I could potentially try out as well right inline fans on each side or something ducting a uh, 3d printed ducting on the back side and the front side and just put uh, I don't know, six or eight inch tubing and do something like that just because of the loud fans. Anyways guys, let me know your thoughts of what I just explained in this video. I appreciate you all. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one and peace out. Oh, wait, you know what? We gotta go to the barn because there's actually two rigs down. All right, let's go. Okay, this one is not, oh wow, this one just rebooted. Okay, the power outage. Oh man, I hope it didn't damage anything. I'm gonna restart this. And then we got another one. This one is not on two of them. Let's restart this. Okay, yeah, these ones are all good. I hope these two rigs are okay. It's the 1660 Ti Super Rig, half and half and an X8 Ultra, and then my 8x3070s are off. These are the Asus Turbos. I wonder why that is. Okay, let me see if uh, Hive OS can see these rigs now. Oh man, I think two of my Octaminers are dead. Well, they're not dead, they still turn on, but the, the two 1660 Super Ti rig uh, and the 1070, or sorry, 3070 rig is, they're not coming on. They're not registering in Hive OS. Let's say it's offline for an hour and 10 minutes. That's when the power outage happened. And one thing to note is I think the power outage also killed one of my Space Goat's power meters. Look at that, it's not even powering on. Ah, uh, so, oh, I think we have some casualties here after the, uh, abrupt power outage on this rig here okay and also this rig just keeps rebooting and uh, this is actually my Radeon 7 rig yeah the Radeon 7 rig is restarting and then my Asus turbo rig is not coming on it just has that it should normally have a bunch of info that means it's mining but it's not even connecting to Hive OS I tried doing a CMOS reset on the buttons, I tried restarting it. It's just not coming up. Let's look at the Radeon 7 rig here. And it shows that it's mining. Okay, well, okay, never mind. Maybe it didn't restart. Yeah, it seems to be fine here. Okay. Yeah, no, I think it's just those two rigs. Okay guys, I think I've had enough for today. I'm going to troubleshoot these two rigs offline. I'll probably do a video and uh, keep you guys updated. Oh man, that would suck on these two rigs if they died or something's broke or maybe I need to reflash the SSD. I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out. God damn, damn power outage, man. Breaks everything.